हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स क्लास लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर थ्री करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द फोर न्यू टर्म्स एंड दे आर सेल ई एम एफ इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस एंड टर्मिनल वोल्टेज सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दी क्लास सो फर्स्ट वी कैन स्टडी अबाउट सेल वॉट इज अ सेल हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी टू द चार्जेस how the all electrical components are working because of cell that we can study in the today's session so first we have to know what is a cell a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy is called cell what is a cell a cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy so what type of chemical energy takes place inside the cell so that we can study in detail so before that you can observe the remaining three points the first point cell provides electrical energy to all circuit elements for example if i am going to consider a bulb or you can take a remote or a fan all these circuit elements are working only because cell is providing electrical energy cell provides electric energy to all the circuit elements second point cell do not produce a charge see here already the conductors means metals are having large number of free electrons so cell is not going to produce a charge but it is going to provide energy to the charge then third point cell maintains a potential difference which forces the charge or the electron to move in the circuit cell maintains a potential difference and that potential difference provides force and this force is applied on the charge and now the electron starts to move throughout the circuit these are the three main points to remember about cell is it clear a cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy and cell provides electrical energy to all circuit elements and cell do not produce charge but it can provide energy to the charge and last point cell maintains potential difference which forces the charge to move in the circuit is it clear now you can observe this is the symbol of the cell this is positive terminal and it is negative terminal of the cell you can observe the second picture here this is a cell don't get confused with the cell and battery both are same but only the difference is if there is more than one cell then we can take it as battery right this is positive terminal of the cell and this is negative terminal now the question arises what is actually happening inside the cell now we can study in detail chemical effect of electric current what chemical reaction takes place inside the cell to produce electric current see here a cell consists of electrodes and electrolytes a cell consists of electrodes and electrolyte what are electrodes electrodes are conductors through which current can easily pass they can be in the form of wire a rod or plates what are electrodes electrodes are the conductors we know that conductor conducts electricity that may be in the form of a rod or a plate or a wire this is electrode then what is electrolyte electrolyte is a substance where free ions are present because of which it can conduct electricity that means electrolytic solution or we can also call it as conducting solution conducting solution because it conducts electricity electrolytic solution or it is a substance which contains a large number of free ions because of these free ions easily we can conduct electricity right this is electrolytic solution so what a cell consist a cell consist of two electrode how many electrodes two electrodes and there is a electrolytic solution you can observe this diagram 
Here we consider electrolytic solution. This is electrolytic solution. In this electrolytic solution, we are going to immerse. We are going to dip two electrodes. One is positive electrode. Another one is negative electrode. For example, I can consider zinc and copper. So these are the conductors or electrodes which are immersed in the electrolytic solution. So now what happens inside the electrolytic solution that we can study. Here we consider two electrodes which are immersed in the electrolytic solution. This electrolytic solution contains large number of free ion, positive as well as negative ion. So because of these free ions, we can conduct electricity. Now observe here. When these two electrodes are immersed in the electrolytic solution, all the positive ions are going to set up on the first electrode. All the positive ions are going to set up on the first electrode and all the negative ions are going to set up on the second electrode. So why these positive and negative ions are going to stick on the given two electrode? Here, in this electrolytic solution, some chemical reaction takes place. So that chemical reaction we can call it as exothermic redox reaction. Exothermic redox reaction takes place inside the cell. So what is this exothermic redox reaction? Exothermic means energy is released during the chemical reaction and redox means here that may be oxidation or reduction takes place during the process. So which reaction takes place? Exothermic redox reaction takes place. Energy is released during oxidation or reduction process. You already studied about these terms in chemistry subject. Oxidation. So this electrode is going to release or it is going to lose two electrons which are present in the outermost orbit. The reduction. That electrode has a tendency to gain the electrons. Oxidation means releasing the electron. Reduction means it is gaining the electron. So this process takes place inside the cell. Now carefully you can observe here. When electrodes are immersed in the electrolytic solution, here certain chemical force will be exerted or we can also call it as non-electric force chemical force or we can call it as non-electric force. What this chemical force is actually doing or non-electric force? We already studied electric force. Electric force means when there is a unlike charge, there should be a force of attraction. When there is a like charge, then there will be a force of repulsion that is electric force. Electrostatic force of attraction is exerted when there are unlike charges. Electrostatic force of repulsion exerted when there is a like charge. But here it is exactly opposite. So what type of force is exerted in that chemical reaction? Chemical force is exerted or we can also call it as non-electric force. What this non-electric force is doing? This non-electric force is going to separate positive ions and negative ions. Is it clear? Positive and negative ions are not going to attract but they are going to repel. It is only because of non-electric force. That's why all the positive ions are going to set up on the first electrode and all the negative ions are going to set up on the second electrode. That means here for the first electrode oxidation takes place. For the second electrode reduction process takes place. For example, if I am going to consider zinc as the first electrode, copper as the second electrode which is immersed in the electrolytic solution, we can consider H2SO4. So here this zinc has tendency to release two electron so that it becomes Zn2 plus. 
it releases two electrons so it will become zn2 plus but this copper has a tendency to gain the two electrons when it gains two electrons then it will become cu ion so we can call the first electrode as a cathode and the second electrode as anode cathode means it has cations so that is all the positive ions are going to stick on the first electrode we can take it as a positive terminal and this is a negative electrode or negative terminal is it clear so what we are going to do we consider two electrodes for example zinc and copper these two electrodes are immersed in the electrolytic solution just like a h2so4 so that their chemical force or non electric force is exerted and this is going to separate positive ions on the first electrode and the negative ions are going to set up on the second electrode that means for the first electrode oxidation process takes place here this zinc is has the tendency to release two electron and here the copper has a tendency to gain the two electrons so the first electrode we can call it as cathode and the second electrode we can call it as anode is it clear yes now i am going to connect this positive terminal or this positive electrode and this negative electrode externally that means these two electrodes can be joined together externally with the help of a conducting wire which is connected to resistor r so here positive ions are set up on this first electrode negative ions are build up on the second electrode now these two electrodes are joined with the help of a conducting wire which is connected to resistor r now what happens there should be a flow of electron where the electrons are moving the electrons are moving from negative terminal to positive terminal we already studied negative electron it is having a negative charge so here this electron starts to move in this direction electrons are moving from anode to cathode because they are joined together now so electron starts to move from anode to cathode but what about current how the current is moving we know that electric current is moving from positive terminal to negative terminal so positive terminal means the current flows from cathode to anode which is exactly opposite to the flow of electron we already studied this concept electrons are moving from anode to cathode but electric current is flowing from cathode to anode when all the positive ions are set up on the first electrode so it can gain certain amount of potential it is having high potential because all the positive ions are set up on the first electrode so we can take it has plus v plus potential and the second electrode has a potential minus v minus the first electrode is having high potential second electrode is having low potential so because of these positive and negative ions here certain potential difference takes place that means higher potential minus lower potential higher potential means what plus v plus minus lower potential is minus v minus this is what potential difference higher potential minus lower potential for example if this higher potential is having the value plus 10 volt and this lower potential is having the value minus 2 volt then what is the potential difference between the two terminals of the electrode potential difference between two terminals of the electrode will be 10 volt minus of minus 2 volt what is the answer potential difference exerted between the two terminals of the electrode is 12 volt 
is it clear anyhow potential difference is exerted when a potential difference is exerted so that electric current will flow from cathode to anode but electron is moving from anode to cathode suppose if i am going to consider one electron it is moving from anode to cathode so this electron comes here this electron starts to move in the first electrode now that electron reaches this point let us imagine i am going to release an electron at this point so now tell me where this electron is going to reach whether this electron will go to first electrode or second electrode it wants to go here this electron has to go to first electrode but it is not possible why because here there is a chemical force or we can call it as non electric force because of this non electric force here this electron starts to move towards the second electrode not towards the first electrode so what happens in the external correction there is a electric force so that the current is moving from positive to negative and the electron is moving from negative to positive now this electron comes here so this electron starts to move from negative terminal to positive terminal and again this electron starts to move in this direction here at this electrolytic solution it will it will get a certain amount of energy by taking that energy electron again starts to move from anode to cathode so in this way this cell is going to provide energy to the electron to move toward the electric circuit is it clear see here if this is a positive electrode and this is negative electrode if i am going to release one electron here so this electron starts to move towards the negative terminal means second electrode only because of that chemical force let us take it as fc because of this chemical force this electron starts to move towards the second electrode so in this way cell is going to provide electrical energy to the electron is it clear so here once again i will explain the first electrode is cathode second electrode is anode how the current is flowing current is flowing from cathode to anode positive to negative terminal but the electrons are moving from anode to cathode which is exactly opposite to the flow of current now that electron enters this first electrode this electron is moving in this direction now this electron when it is at this point here this electron has to go towards the first electrode but where it is moving it is moving towards the second electrode because there is a non electric force here it will get this uh, energy by taking that energy again this electron starts to move throughout the circuit again it will come back to first electrode and here it will get energy again it starts to move throughout the circuit again at this point it will get energy so this process continues in this way this cell is going to provide electric energy to the electron so that it can conduct electricity is it clear what is a cell cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy 